Paul Amroth marches after a victorious siege of Lebanon and is unsuspecting of a counterattack by its ally at Landon that is waiting in the forest. The Prince of Dol Amroth and his army, veteran, veterans of the siege of Lebanon, now march back. But due to Landon's rivalries, there is two armies. The generals, who hate each other, can no longer fight together and have decided to ambush Dol Amroth separately. This may just give Dol Amroth the edge it needs to win. What's up guys and welcome back. I'm Pope John Paul and we're here with another Rise of Mordor battle, part of the mini-series that we're doing of the Gondorian Civil War. And this is part four. So um, if you've not checked out the other three parts, I do recommend you go and do so. There's some great battles and uh, sieges in it. And here is the newest uh, part. This was supposed to come out earlier, but unfortunately um, there was some like issues and we couldn't like get the replay to work as an actual proper uh, ambush, so it's a pitch battle, but it's set up as an ambush. So to be fair, I actually can't see many of Landon's units. I am marching blind into just along this road and we're gonna see what happens. Um, I may I may find a find an army, I may just carry on marching to the end of the road. I mean, if you've listened to the intro, you know that there's action happening and I wouldn't just do a video of absolutely nothing. But here we go. There's an ambush, apparently. There's somewhere, somewhere along this long, long line. I mean, look how far it goes back. There's someone's having, a, having an ambush. And there, you can see, if we put on the hood, they have appeared, apparently. Well, actually they haven't because they're still hidden. We can see everything because it's like a battle. But there we go. The arrow's been fired. Dol Amroth uh, can react now. And the Knights of Imrahil are going to be the ones that go in, it would seem. So yes, Dol Amroth is uh, weakened, but it's still very, very strong. And these units are elite from the sieges, uh, the Siege of Lebanon. And like the small skirmishes that happened after. It is a ragtag uh, Landon army that has been raised to uh, basically ambush them. There are some elite troops, but it's mainly... The first wave will probably mainly be trash. Here we go. Looks like Levy's going in against some coastal sea watch. Forming shield wall, preparing for the worst. More levies here, more London levies. No one cares about these guys. Uh, they're going up against like sea ward infantry, Tarnosian spears. Actually, just a lot of Tarnosian spears. Knights at Imrahil even getting involved. There's some Sea Ward infantry. Going up against some men at arms. There are some slightly more elite units here. Um, I can't see all this. Um, you may be thinking, Pope, you should be going after this. I cannot see this. This is all very new to me where this stuff appears. I can't see anything there on this hill. I can just about see these arches. I can't see these spears. But they are soon going to show themselves. I think, yes, I must be able to see these spears now. These Knights of Imrahil going in. They're going to fight it out in the forest. Clear out the areas so their prince can carry on marching through. These loyal troops want to see what happens. Oh! They want to see their prince get back to Dol, uh, to Kerandros, I guess their capital, uh, in one piece. Beautiful, beautiful sight. And if you want to see more of uh, the Lord of the Rings action, then please do leave a like and subscribe and a comment if there's any sort of scenario that you want me to try and reproduce in the Lord of the Rings world. Um, all the support is very much appreciated, and uh, I can't thank you guys enough so much for as much as you've done so far. Anyway, while I've been just blathering on about YouTube stuff, there has been a flank that is going to uh, like occur here, it would seem. Some more levies and are trying to get around the front of the formation. So the prince orders forward some seaward infantry to deal with them. And they will hold the line here. Because the prince cares about his coastal sea watch, it would seem. They've got some huge swords, these guys. They look big in their hands anyway. They look goddamn awesome. And they're going to try and get around these Seaward infantry, it would seem. That's not going to happen. 
And in they go. These levies won't hold long. Not against this. This is just a shield wall. I'm just not even really fighting them. Just holding them holding them at bay. I'm letting as many as few of my troops engage as possible. And there's been a cavalry charge. There was a cavalry charge and it did route some men at arms. It would seem lot there's quite a few wavering units now. These guys shaken. Um there was some swords back here that were wavering. I mean, the, we're now winning some battles. Like, the Knights of here are just, like, now freed up. They can do what they want. Um, yeah, I can't see any of this over here. I think I might be able to see this cavalry unit. Yeah, it's the only thing I can see. But I don't really want to go charging off into forests where I can't see everything. Which, in fairness, now knowing that I can... Now seeing all this was a smart move. But we have just loads of infantry. I was aware that there might be something over here and the cavalry might try something. So I did have a lot of spears ready. Spears and pikes. Ready for them. Anyway, let's have a quick, another quick look at the battle. There's not much going on. Just a lot of men at arms. Fighting off against some seaward infantry. The beautiful, beautiful infantry that is. Dol Amroth. Can't really see them in the dark here. All spooked out in the dark. It looks like some levies have returned. But here we go. In the light. In the out of the forest. So really all that needs to happen is a chunk, a chink in the line to open, which has happened here. I don't know why no Dolan of troops were going through, but they need to just go through here and surround these guys. And same here, I must have just been playing very passive. Not really sure. Yeah, here we go. Just about to happen now. Seaward infantry going through. They'll flank either this way or this way. If I was um, Dolan, I'd probably go this way because you free up two units. Yeah, I mean, look at these guys. So elite. But it will... Dol Amroth needs to win this because... Um, well, it needs an army to uh, survive for maybe part five. Dol Amroth may appear for part five. To s help try and save the, s the white city. But it looks like the uh, prince is going to go in for a charge. And of course we get the guy at the back again. There we go. That's someone near the front. Nice little charge there. That'll give him a few kills. It's always good. Needs a few. Bloody a sword. And then he can route these levies. Just like that. Excellent. And they're gone. So what? We'll put on the hood now. We'll see. Looks like most of the initial Lambdon forces have been engaged. Um, this Lambdon Mounted Knights is uh, trying to get back to the other army and notify them of the failure of the first attack. These Lambdon Mounted Knights, poor men, left with the job of uh, being messengers. Not very knightly, I will I will admit. But I mean, it looks like these Coastal Guard are starting to lose in Prolong Melee. They are up against... Well, they're up against London Levy. It's kind of surprising. I mean, we have plenty of reserves here. Slots of Seaward Infantry. That can hold them at bay if needs be. These guys just look so amazing. I think Dol Amroth must be my favourite faction. Quite possibly. I don't know, it's close. Them and the Elves. But... Or the, or the Dwarves. The Dwarves, actually, I think. Dwarves and Dol Amroth, they're probably the two that's closest between. And when they um, buff out Rohan, that'll be good. i will love to see what they do with that. They may then be a contender. I mean, all there's no bad factions. I'll just put that there. They're all good looking. Let me know in the comments what is your favorite. If you play Rise of Mordor, what is your favorite uh, faction, or just if you like Lord of the Rings, what's your favorite faction? You don't have to play Rise of Mordor to have a favorite favorite faction. Poor guy, like the poor men at arms are just like trying to get out of there. Levies, 
Just get executed on the spot. Look at them. They're just like, oh, what is the point in life? Or maybe these are lambda? I don't know. He looked like a very much like a coastal sea watch. I thought he was, but maybe he's not. Maybe he's... But the coastal sea watch and the men at arms are very similar. But yes, we are now basically wrapping up everything that's left. Cannot be much more, but I mean, you can see here, look, the cavalry's trying to get by. So clearly the enemy must be on this side of the map. Might be over there, I'm guessing. I, I'd say that, but I mean, I can see it all there. I don't know why he went over this side. Just stood here nicely. I could have just quite easily got them. The Seaward Infantry ready for any uh, threats that come down the road. We've got some London Knights here. These are probably the, like the most elite unit that's in here. This is Early commitment by some elite units. There is the spear variant. They hold. They've got a bit of bit of experience. They'll hold for a while. They're certainly dealing some damage on these coastal sea watch. And by dealing damage, I mean kind of just holding them at bay. I, there's still a lot of them left. Some thick ranks. Here we go. Knights at Imrahel coming in behind, and these guys will uh, make short work of these London knights. Now you imagine. But um, if you're wondering how we get Lambden and Lebanon, if, I, if you haven't watched some of the other ones, we are using the Fives of Mordor um, mod. It is a very good mod. Um, it has been really beefed out over the last few weeks, so it's definitely worth the check checking out. And, um, well, yeah, just well done to the modders for uh, making such a great mod. I mean, I always forget that there's so many um, little Fives of Gondor, which are kind of like almost their independent kingdom. I mean, uh, obviously Dol Amroth is the most famous, um, and then there's like Lozenarch and um, well, obviously Lambdon and Lebanon, and and uh, and the Dunedain, a sort of a Fife of Gondor, but they're also sort of not. And there's the Grey Company. But, I mean, if you look at this, look at all the cavalry just massing this poor spear unit. Can't even can't actually even see the spears in there. So it's also that dark, it's pretty hard to see the spears anyway. They look like they're getting shot in the back by their own archers. Which is just happily chilling over here. Doing their thing. Well, very bloodied up. They must have been having quite a lot of fights with their own uh, own archers. But I mean, we'll, um, we'll, we'll fast forward a little bit. Because I mean, this is basically all sorted here. They're just... Dol Amroth's getting back into his position. The general needs to just charge in and do some hammer and anvils here. See these uh, London Knights off the battlefield. Here we go. Nice easy charge. Well, yes, they can try and take out our general, but he is uh, very, very strong, and he's also... Um, well... He was sent in to kill. It's not that they were trying to take him out. We sent him in to kill. That's kind of how it went. But anyway, let's see. What is What have they got over here? This is some reconnaissance that uh, I couldn't do myself, but will do. They've got land and levies. They've got more levies. They've got a lot more levies. I was surprised they didn't send them in more in the first wave. Um, lots of mounted knights. Any elite swords and stuff. They've got clansmen. Some axes. They'll be pretty good in an ambush scenario. Um, certainly for flanking. Lambden Knights of Sword, a lot of them. Um, Lambden Knights, Lambden Levy. Well, this is a small land. And they must have got back from the main fight. Lucky them. They get to live another day. A few more men at arms. And more archers. But yeah, it's basically all wrapped up. I mean, there is obviously this force over here as well. It could cause some problems. But we are all but all but sorted here. So, I mean, Lam uh, not Lambden. Uh, Dolanoff was victorious. Lambden is, well, all but dead. I, um, yeah, this Coastal Sea Watch, they kind of just stay in the forest. I forget about them for most of the battle. So if you see these guys just, like, randomly here and just thinking, why didn't you attack the archers? I forgot entirely about these guys. <laughs> I was like, I'm pretty sure I've got my entire army here. Well, let's just move on. Um, but no, this is not, the, that's not the case. So we'll just fast forward a bit. The cavalry's gonna go and, uh, deal with those archers. It's, they're not really a problem. Uh, we can watch like a charge, I guess. 
There we go. Watch this charge. I'm in fast, fast forward, so it's going to look very, very quick. Oh, there's poor um, Seaward Spear Recovery. But yes, we are soon coming up to. They think they're out of the dark, the Dol Amroth. But little do they know that another army appears to block the road. And the prince has seen it, and he's going back down the line to relay the order. Tell the men that uh, there is another ambush coming. He's going through his own men. That's not very ca that's not very productive, prince. But we'll let you off. So the Haven Guard look like they're going to be the first one in. They're fresh, um, very heavy melee infantry. These guys are going to chop spear, uh, chop shields, and break spears. They are dangerous. They used to have an axe as their symbol, but they've finally changed that around, which I'm glad to see. But they actually just have a sword emblem. So they didn't have axes. I was like, oh, Gondor with elite axes? No, no. They've just got huge swords, which they have to hold in two hands. And soon the order's going to go up for the charge, because Landon is basically in position and ready. And there we go. The cavalry's already joining over here. It's a bit of a higgledy piggledy mess now, because I'm... Because uh, Dollar Officer has no idea what to do, really. But here we go. It looks like the Haven Guard are going to go in. Looks like they're going to be facing off against some um, archers and... Landon Knights. You can't quite see them over the hill, actually. That's, like, the archer's view. They can barely see these guys. All they can see is, like, the swan uh, wings on the helmets. And they're just like, good god. They're here. Here comes the Swan Knights. Well, the, they are basically Swan Knights. But the Haven Guard. And in they go. And look, they may get a volley off before. Yeah, and it's going to be a point blank range. Oh, it's brutal. And a few Haven Guard go down, but the rest are going to charge him because they're so, they're so great. And they're tanks. And in they go. Against London Knights. A few archers, unfortunate, getting pinned between the two lines. Look at that guy. He's just like, I just couldn't get out in time. And more levies going in now, it seems. And London Arch is going to shoot on the flanks. It's very good of the uh, London player here. Getting a nice little flank. It looks like Seaward Infantry joining them in the, in the mess here. So some swords and some heavy swords. Good mix. They should eventually break through this this line, you imagine. There's, there's going to be too many. I mean, if you look at the balance of power now, it's the uh, Dol Amroth is now outnumbering after being outnumbered quite heavily. So that first attack was very, very good. Here we go, the Knights of Imrahil. These guys have been through, already been through hell. And now they're going to go through it again. Assault in the hill. But they've not got as much to fight. They've just got some uh, pesky little uh, men-at-arms. These guys are going to be a bit of a walkover, you imagine. Look at this guy. He's on this little hill. In, the, in goes more men-at-arms to flank them. They're going to cause some more issues. Get a few kills. I believe in these dismounted knights of Himmer Hill. They can do this. But we're sending even, even more. It looks like Arch is going in with no ammo. Um, the Prince's Coast Guards are being sent in. His... Uh, so-called effective pole arms. I mean, these guys have only turned up because they were in the last siege, so they have to kind of be here. But they're not... But I, I hate these guys, to be honest. I, well, I don't hate them, but... I've not found them to be very effective yet. But they do look good. They look very, very good. So that's why they turn up. They get they get a turn up for style points. It looks like they're going to be fighting some axes. Um, that's kind of That's kind of favourable for them. I say that as they get chopped up a bit. Oh, and they're getting some volleys at point blank range just behind there. That's unfortunate. Some good, good use of archers by the uh, Landon player. Not quite sure why you're using your halberd as a club. Yeah, you deserve to die for that. Yes, it does seem like these uh, halberds are getting kind of just overwhelmed. They're... Oh, Jesus. That's just look at that little corridor of death that they're firing through. But, I mean... Can't see anything yet. Look how close they are. I still did not see these guys. Still did not see these guys. They're walking, staying hidden. 
And uh, eventually I send up my cavalry. Because I do see this cavalry out maneuvering over here. I'm maneuvering my position. And I'm like, right, well, we're going to have to send in my general and his cavalry. And I was like, well, we can win that because I'm confident. I mean, if you look at the long line of stuff now, it is brutal. Brutal. And hopefully you guys can see the battle quite well, because, I mean, I can barely see it. This is, uh, because I've got, like, sun blistering in. For the first time, like, this week, we've had sun. So I was like, well, I'm having my window open. And my, uh, well, my curtains open and my window open. And I can barely see anything on this screen. But thank God winter's basically over. I say that as we'll probably get a load of horrible weather for the next few weeks, I bet. But here we go. So the cavalry has gone in and the trap has been sprung. And in comes about five or six units of London infantry. And they're going to try and encircle this cavalry. And it's going to be huge. This cavalry is, well, Dol Amroth's cavalry is key to the fight. They're going to need them if they uh, are to aid Gondor in future fights. And... Uh, I mean, I do believe that these guys will probably hold their ground for quite a while and take some out in Plong Melee. But I am scrambling um, units to get back there. So we have some Seaward Infantry going in, some Tarnosian Spears. We have uh, some Seaward Infantry with swords, more Tarnosian Spears. All sorts is going in and I'm just trying to deal with these guys. Instantly surrounding these guys, these Tarno them with Tarnosian Spears. Very thin line for some reason. But the order needs to go to just go in. And in we go. Seaward Infantry now going in as well. These axes, the longer they stay here, will break though. And, it does, and I get one of my cavalry free. It's my Seaward Spear Cavalry. Get free and I'll get them to... Uh, well, they're actually, if anything, they're the one I want to really keep in there. Apparently, because they're Spear Cavalry. They're not shot. But they kind of get caught here. No, they, well, they actually, they get through. Just perfect. Wow. Um, but it looks like... Looks like the general is holding his ground. I am trying to get more of the Mount Knights of the Silver Swan trying to get out. Now my general trying to get out with Knights of Imrahil. Um, but that is it at the moment. That's all I can do. I've got to keep the rest in there. And sacrifice them. Seawall Sword Infantry going up against Landon Knights Swords. They are outmatched here. They've done so well, but they are now outmatched. These poor men. And my arch is just desperately trying to shoot something. And now my gen uh, the general is causing um, issues over here. He's breaking stuff. He's breaking archers. Um, he's those pikes just broke. Or those halberds broke. And now it's time for like my knights at Imrahil really need to get in there. And they need to break stuff. And luckily they are breaking men at arms. But we need to break stuff quickly because uh, this situation is getting out of hand. And here comes the general again. You can see he's going to come over this hill. No, he's not. He's going to be a coward. Of course he is. Well, not a coward, but he's not going to play for play ball for the camera. Is he going to just charge in? That would be. He probably should. These coastal sea watch will probably break. But we're getting some good hits. We're getting some good hits on his uh, general with archers. And here we go. In they go. That's very nice. That's a good charge for them. But you just got to focus them down with archers. I mean, it, those Tarnosian spears broke. Jeez, it's... They're holding their ground. Those axes are starting to, hot to break. But, I mean, they are holding their ground. I'm not surprised that they are losing decisively on both sides of the axes. Um, but, I mean, here we go. See what a infantry. They're losing slightly as well. And the, uh, apparently both sides are losing. They both just don't believe in them themselves. But, I mean, it looks like Knights of Silver Swan are losing here. Um, but they're in melee combat. They're, yeah. They're doing okay. We just need to get some spears in there, desperately. Get something in there. Get some infantry in there. But, um, there's a huge breakdown in the center for Landon. 
And it looks like those Princess Coast Guards have returned and they're going to do a bit of damage here. Some Seaworld Spear Infantry. I mean, these axes are just breaking knowing what's going to happen. And the, the huge flank can begin if they actually mobilize. But there's also a big fight going up over here. General versus General. This is going to be interesting. If, whoever wins this could actually possibly win the battle. I mean, Dol Amroth is outnumbering Landon currently. But in Attila, the loss of a general is huge. Morale just drops like a, well, like a ball, really. Or stone. That's, that's the same. Like a stone. Watching cavalry versus cavalry is actually the least enthralling combat to watch, I think. After they just like they just stand up, look at each other, and do a couple of fights. But it does look like um, Dol Amroth is going to have support from Haven Guard, Coastal Sea Watch, um, and Deathmount Knights of Hill. And he's probably going to win this now because he has infantry support. Could really do with sending in these archers or just like just for infantry support, try and help them. I know they have uh, arrows. They'd be more effective doing that. They need to certainly try and get a better angle so they can just like shoot directly. If they got to here, then they could shoot directly up at these dismounted uh, knights at Imrahil. But the general is now losing decisively. And we are starting to break some of their units over here. And there we go. In goes the Seaward Spear Infantry. In you go, men. Can only really see a lot of Knights of uh, Dol Amroth at the moment, but they're quite identifiable. There is other stuff in there. There's some levies in there that need dealing with. There's some men at arms that need dealing with. Kill them all. And yeah, they, they break just like that. This is huge. But the men are running. And the general has fallen. He's trying to retreat. The coward. He had enough. And he'd. Uh, and he paid the price. He paid the price. Just like his other general did in the first ambush. The, other, the, fir the second general dies as well. That man, that man is annoying apparently. But yeah, we're cutting these guys down. And that is going to be the battle you imagine. There's a huge chain route along this entire line. It's just the rear attack that is now... Um, holding strong. I mean, these cavalry have been fighting the entire time. I'm just proud that my knights has held long enough for other stuff to appear. You see, World Infantry really need to turn around and get involved. Like, they're just standing there. They're just like, yeah, our comrades are dying. Who cares? Who cares? The prince cares, you fool! He wants to see his men survive. He wants as many men to survive to then go against the walls of the White City, it would seem now. They're going to have... They'll have to, uh... They thought their war was over, but oh no. They've been angered. They were only dealing with their immediate threats, but now they will have to go they are happy to go above and beyond to help their their king, their lord. These but these are London knights or mounted knights cannot stand long. I mean there's so many guys that just look like um like normal Gondorians with their, all their helmets. But it's, it is uh, kind of confusing. Dol Amroth are quite easy though to identify because they've got blue and white splattered all over them. And here we go. The final stand of Lambden. And my general, but the prince has returned and he's going to go for one last charge into there, it would seem. And the, what's it saying? Well, the HUD's just going to say that there's a load of breaking going on, which there is. Lambden has bro broken with its, yep, there we go. Wow, everything broke. It's just these, these Lambden knights that are holding and they just died. Um, so it's a close victory and I'd say it probably was. Dolanoth lost a lot of stuff. Um, it lost just under 500, uh, 1,500. I was about to say 5,000. That would have been a lot. That would have been more than they had. Um, but, I mean, look at those coastal sea watch that are 318. Um, Prince getting 203 kills. He's not doing too bad himself. Um, Dismounted Knights of Imrahil getting 248. 390 for the other one, actually. So they clearly just 
went ham. And these Coastal Sea Watch didn't do too bad themselves. Um, sea Ward Sword Infantry getting 109, not too bad. Uh, 267 for these Sea Ward Spear Infantry, that is very, very good. And the Knights uh, of the Silver Swan getting like 100 kills each, that's not too bad themselves. And actually, surprisingly, these Prince's Coast Guard getting 92 kills, that's probably the best I've ever seen them do. <laughs> um, and the Haven Guard getting 172, that's probably the only other notable sort of numbers that are there. Um, Landon, his general getting 170 kills, that's not too bad to be fair. A lot of them were hammer and anvils, it was a very well played tactic. Um, and then I'd say probably his knights getting 93 and 83, not too bad. Um, but I mean, there's not many others that they're too well, uh, two, 110 actually there for those axes, they're, that's a very good result. Um, but yeah, it's like, they're all quite scattered, they all did kind of like average, there wasn't anything that like, stood out massively for uh, Lambden, which is a bit of a shame, but that happens. But anyway guys, if you enjoyed, then please do leave a like and subscribe, and a comment if there's anything... Uh, any Lord of the Rings scenarios you want me to try and recreate. Also, don't forget to go and check out the Discord. I'll leave the link in the description for you guys if you want to get involved in battles uh, that may go on the channel or to send in replays that I can then show on the channel or just to chat with other fellow Legionnaires. But anyway, Legionnaires, until next time, bye for now.